Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing about Turing machine for equal, where equal means that number of A is same as number of B on the input which is provided on the tape. It can start with A, it can always start with B. What we need to do is that whenever we come across A, we will try to find a B for the given A. The reverse is also true. Whenever we come across B, we try to find A. Now, what are the intuitions behind design of this machine? Whenever A is read, convert it into capital A and start search for B and convert it into capital B. Likewise, if we come across B, convert it into capital B and search for small a and convert it into capital A. When all the A have been converted to capital A, that is no more A is left, there should be no B left on the tape. We will say that number of A and number of B in the machine are same. Now, since this machine can start with A or for B, we have pointing to Q0 two outputs. One is for A, another is for B. On Q1, it is moving to A. It is converting first small a into capital A and moving right. On the other hand, if we come across B, we will convert it into capital B and move towards right. If we talk about this loop, whenever we come across A, our objective is that we need to find B on the tape. So whatever symbols we come across, maybe capital A, maybe small a or capital B, they will remain intact. That is why there is a self loop on Q1 and we just need to find all Likewise, if we come across B, we just need to search for A and convert it into capital A. Once we have converted small a into capital A and corresponding to that small b into capital B, we just need to move back. Whatever input we have when we are moving towards the left side will remain unchanged. And then we move towards the delta which is serving as the end marker on the left side. Once we come across delta, we will start moving towards the right. We have a self loop on Q0 for capital A and capital B. Why? Because delta is serving as a end marker and we just need to ignore all capital A and capital B since they have already been checked and converted into capital A, capital B. We keep on traversing till the end and if we get delta, this will serve as a right end marker of the tape. This clearly indicates that the machine has reached the final state. Now we start with the traversal. We are providing the trace at the right side of every slide for every movement. In this case, we are considering double A followed by triple B followed by single A. So that means number of A is equal to number of B where number is 3. Starting from Q0, we come across first A, we convert that and we move to Q1 state. Now since A has been converted, the only thing which needs to be considered is that we will try to find B on the tape. The moment we come across B, we will convert it into capital B and we will start moving towards the left side of the tape. Whatever symbol we get, maybe A, maybe B, maybe capital A or capital B, we will not change those and we will go for traversal towards the left till we reach the end marker which is delta. Once we come across end marker, the direction of the tape will move towards the right. We come across capital A, we will not change it. That means it has already been considered. Now we come across small a. The moment we come across small a, we convert it into capital A and we start the search for small b. The moment we come across small b, we will convert it into capital B and the head will start moving towards the left side. In order to find the end marker, on the left side, which is delta. All the intermediate inputs, that is small a, capital A, small b, and capital B will not change. Once we reach the delta, that is the left side marker, we change the direction and we start the traversal without changing any input. If it is capital A, it will remain capital A. If it is capital B, it will remain capital B. Head will move one step ahead towards the right after traversing every cell. Now it has reached small b. The moment it come across small b, the Turing machine will have movement from Q0 to Q4. Small b is converted into capital B. Search for A begins. Very next symbol is A. Convert that symbol to capital A and we start traversing towards the left. When we start traversing towards the left, we will not change any input and we will just try to find out the 
end marker which is delta cross all capital A. We have come to delta. At this point, we start moving towards the right. In order to convert any small a or small b left out. When we are traversing, in this particular scenario, we are finding that we don't have any of the inputs which are left out to be converted into their capital counterparts. That means all small a have been converted into capital A and all small b have been converted into capital B and we reach the end of the tape that is delta. The moment we reach end of the tape and we are at Q0 state, we move to QF state by having a transition delta, delta, left oblique, right. This is the complete trace for the machine for equal. Thanks for watching.